Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. I hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. As the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to launch system apps with games that have enlarged memory via with the new plugin called Low Memory Mode. And this does work for versions 3.60 between to 3.73. But with that being all out the way for today, I will be stating some things and the prerequisites you should know. So some key things you should know for this process. This plugin allows you to launch other Vita applications in low physical memory mode while an enlarged memory game is active so here are some examples so games like east 8 lacrimosa of dana that has enlarged memory which is exactly 77 uh, megabytes um you won't be able to launch any system applications except like the actual vita settings so for example i'm not too sure if like final fantasy 10 or persona 4 is like this but i'll just use you know east 8 for example let's say um and i'll show you this um later on in the video as well just for a visual you know guide but let's say you run a game right and the only thing you could do is just go into your settings mode so you won't be able to open up like your trophy app uh, music calendar and stuff like that so certain high memory games won't allow you or regularly won't allow you to access other apps however with this plugin um once you install it which i'll show you guys on how to do that via with auto plugin it will allow you to you know access low memory apps such as you know the music uh application the calendar and trophy app and such and so forth like that another um or that's what i just stated here so those are all of the things you need to know uh for today but for today's prerequisites we're going to be getting started with that and any of the things that i state will be in the link in the description down below um first things first of course you need a modded playstation vita that's already hacked so whether you're using the trinity hankaku h on core h on core to exploit um you're good to go i'm be using my playstation vita 1000 that is on 3.60 enzo for today as well this does work with 3.6 to 3.73 firmware as i stated earlier um you also need the latest build of vita shell you also need the latest build of auto plugin to install today's pro excuse me plugins you also need fazilla ftp client and as well you need any game that is deemed a high memory title so for today i'll be using east 8 just for today's example and last but not least you need a usb charging cable if you're going to be uh transferring files that way but with that being getting all out the way i do want to give a special thanks out to the developer who created this so alt control graphene i'm sorry if i did butcher your name but i'm assuming that's how it is i remember a reading um this um in a reddit blog post so shouts out to you and that's why i'm featuring you on today's video but with that being all out the way let's get started on the pc side of things Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're going to go ahead and get started on today's stuff on the PlayStation Vita. So first thing first, just go ahead and open up your PlayStation Vita. Before we even get started on transferring the actual file over, what I'm going to do is show you the actual example I was talking about in the intro. So if I open up the game East 8, and then let me just open up the application. Once I get into the main menu of this game, I would not be able to basically load up any um, other application since this game is deemed a high memory title. So I won't be using like any apps like the music app or like the trophy app or the calendar app. It will ask me to basically close out that application so I could utilize that other systems app. But for today's goal, we're gonna be um, installing a plugin so I can use low memory apps. So as of right now, um, the game is booting up. So so I'm just waiting for it to do its thing. Once it gets to the main menu, I'll show you guys what it means. Sorry, I don't have any of the game's audio I'm playing right now due to, you know, copyright issues. I don't want to, you know, deal with that. But if I go ahead and hit back out of the home menu, scroll all the way to the actual music app, you'll see I get this little notification stating the following app will need to be closed in order to utilize this. So if I try to open up the trophy app, I believe, or maybe, yeah, for example, the trophy app, I would have to close it out. Uh, I'm trying to see any other apps like the calendar app. If I try to open it, so you get the idea. So what we need to do is just close out our game. And then what I'm going to do is open up Vita Shell. So if you guys don't already have Vita Shell installed onto your device, I will have the link of the VBK in the link in the description down below. But what we need to do as of right now is go into Vita Shell, 
go and hit start if you're going to be transferring over via with a usb cable to get your file of auto plug in that's what i recommend to plug in your usb cable into your pc and into your vita but if you're going to be using files with a ftb client like me just make sure once you hit start scroll all the way down with the d-pad and where it's the select button make sure it's selected to ftp hit circle and then hit select make sure your wi-fi is on for this as well or you won't see your device's ip but what you're going to do as of right now is once you connected your playstation vita via over to your um pc via with a usb or ftp client what we're going to do is transfer over there and then transfer over auto plugin so i'll meet you guys back onto the pc Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all of the steps via on the PS Vita, you got Vita Shell running, whether if you're using a USB connection or FileZilla FTP client or FTP connection, I said, um, what we need to do is go into any FTP client of your choice. If you're following me, I will have FileZilla in the link in the description down below. But what we need to do is type in our PlayStation V's IP address. So mine's is 10.0.0. Uh, 131 if I can type today yours will be different from mine's I will have a picture edited of like my PlayStation Vita so you can understand where I'm pulling these numbers from but our ports will be the same so 1337 all you got to do is hit quick connect and I'm just waiting for it to do its thing so here is it connected on my Vita all we got to do is go ahead and take our auto plugin VPK I will have this file in the link in the description down below and take this auto plugin VPK drag it into UX0. I already have a older build of it, so all I'm doing is overwriting it. So if I go up to here, you can see that mine's is transferring over. Of course, doing this via with a USB cable is way much faster. I'm doing this over my internet connection, so it may take some time. But um, once it's fully done transferring over, what we're gonna do is go to our PlayStation Vita, get it the actual auto plugin that VBK installed, so it's fully done. So if I go into UX0, you can also see it's successfully, excuse me, successfully transferred via to UX0 right here. I scroll all the way down. Uh, you can see that my auto plugin VBK has been transferred over right now. You can tell by the date it's just did it. So what we need to do is just close out of Filezilla FTP client, and then we could go back to our PlayStation Vita. Alrighty, so we're back onto the PlayStation Vita as showcased here. What we need to do now is just go ahead and hit circle to cancel out. Go into UX0 by hitting X on your um, PlayStation Vita's controller. Now what we need to do is scroll all the way to auto plugin VBK. So just install it like any normal package. Just go ahead and hit X. Hit X one more time. And then it's going to install. Hopefully it won't take too long since it's um, you know a short file size. So it's only like maybe five or six megabytes. But once it's fully done installing onto your PlayStation Vita, all you need to do is just um, go into your live area and then open up the application itself. I already have it on my live area, so the actual bubble won't like pop up and down anytime you get a new um, game since it's rewriting a uh, my old version over it. So almost done installing at 99%. Trying to, you know, wait for it okay so it's fully done all we got to do now is hit back onto the home button close out of vita shell or you can just leave it open for now but what we need to do is go to auto plugin yours if it's your first time installing it um it will be at the bottom of your list but once you open up uh, auto plugin vbk for your console um it will create a config backup.txt which basically takes a backup of all of your plugins but what we need to do is go into the plugins for vita install plugins scroll all the way down to let me try to find it it's not no lock screen uh, oh yeah here it goes low memory mode so here's low memory mode by graphene ct version 1 uh yeah it's version 1.0 and then as showcased here it gives a little description so the description to this is launch system applications with large memory games in the background so that's what we're doing you can either install this to ux0 or ur0 since i keep my plugins all in the ur0 all we're going to do is hit x it's going to install the actual plugin and then what's going to happen now you need to go ahead and hit start on your playstation vita your device will restart so my screen will cut off from black from here so once my vita is fully restarted what we're going to do is rerun our game and hopefully our system applications can be ran normally via without you know dealing with that issue we had in the first place 
Alrighty, so as showcased here guys, my PlayStation Vita has successfully restarted. What we're going to do first, before we even launch into our game, we're going to go and check Vita Shell just to make sure our plugins are into the correct location. So let's open up back Vita Shell onto our device. If I scroll back into UR0, scroll into the Thai folder, go into my config.txt, we're going to try to find the actual plugin with its name. So here is line 18 for me. Yours may be in a different line depending on how many plugins you may have in one section. So you can see it says UR0 Thai, and you can see that this is the actual plugin line that will load up the actual plugin. So low memory mode. If I go back out and hover over here as well, you can see that low memory mode is right there in my PlayStation. Vita. So our plugins are now successfully installed. If your plugins are not shown into the directory you put it in, so whether if you have it in UX0 or UR0, make sure just go through auto plugin once again, reinstall it, and hopefully your plugins will show up. But assuming that you verified that your plugins are there via with Vita Shell, let's go ahead and open up our game. So we're going to do East 8. And then once we're into uh, East 8, if you have any issues running system applications, most likely the plugin hasn't successfully installed. But what I'm going to do right here is wait till I get to the main menu and we're going to try to load up some system apps. So before, if you guys remember in like earlier in the video, I couldn't use like the music app and I couldn't use the trophy app. What I'm going to do is utilize the actual uh, trophy application or music application just to, um, you know, show that everything is working fine. So it's looking up, it's downloadable content. Let me skip the screen. So yeah, the game is, you know, fully up to par. We at the main menu. So the game is still running. Let's go ahead and see if we could open up the music app with no issues. So voila, the music app and low system apps can run. Let's see if we can open up the calendar. So the calendar is working fine, even though I don't use my PlayStation Vita for a calendar. Uh, let's see if we can do the trophy app, because I know this is probably a main one. Let's say if you earn a trophy in game and you want to see, uh, you know, anything. So, yeah, my trophy app is running fine. So that's that right there. Um, let me see if it can run the actual, I don't know, messages probably or you know, we could do maybe friends list, I don't know. So yeah, everything is working fine for the most part. So that's essentially how to set up low memory plugin. If you guys have any questions on how to do this, please let me know in the comment section down below. But with that being said, my name is Nagato's Revenge and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace